Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back from Night Radiance to the channel. And today we have another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. And today we are going to do a restoration, but I have no idea what it's going to be. You do because you saw the thumbnail, so let's go. So I spawned on the junkyard and I just spawned in. Uh, so uh, let's see what do we have for vehicles to restore. I really want to do a restoration because, I don't know, I've just seen the orders and the next story order just hasn't come in yet so what do we have okay so i do see a vehicle right over here let's see it looks like uh the one we just uh by car let's see yeah that was a l series not so interested i'm sorry it's a beautiful car but my kind of cup of tea so let's see what do we have what do we have anything special oh good morning to you sir okay well that is definitely gonna be a contender buy price 28k oh god that's definitely that is option a <laughs> okay okay let's see what do we have so yeah that's it well let's go back towards the garage and let's fix up that beautiful coon sack one season later so there we have it there we have the cooling sack look alike i have no idea what kind of cooling sack it is uh, let's see what are you yeah you look like a cooling sack regera or agera i'm not sure i can already sell it for profit <laughs> oh nice nice i don't really want to sell it right now i first want to restore it actually so i'll see you in the workshop five minutes later so there we go ladies and gentlemen so first of all the first task that we're gonna do is strip the car fully from all the parts that we can remove it also includes the engine i have no idea what kind of engine uh it's a v8 this one <laughs> i cannot pronounce it <laughs> but we definitely have to rebuild i don't see any options otherwise it will be here and so yeah let's go back to work and let's first of all let's strip all the parts shall we so uh, let's go the Koenigsegg Agura is a mid-engine sports car produced by the Swedish car manufacturer Koenigsegg. It is the su successor towards the CCX or the CCXR. The name comes from the Swedish verb Agera, which means to act or in primitive form, you act. It was named Hypercar of the Year in 2010 by Top Gear magazine. The Agera RS variant became the world's fastest production car in 2017, setting a record with a GPS verified two-way average top speed of 447 km an hour or 278 miles per hour and a fastest straight line speed of 458 km an hour which is 285 miles per hour. The Agera increased production in july of 2018 with the unveiling of the two final edition cars at the 2018 goodwood festival of speed it was succeeded by the jetsco in 2019 in early development the car was fitted with a 4.7 liter v8 engine with a fixed vane twin turbochargers but the engine was replaced with an in-house developed 5 0 liter v8 engine and fitted with twin turbochargers which generates a maximum power output of 706 kilowatts which is 947 horsepower and there we go ladies and gentlemen a fully stripped car no parts nothing i found it quite interesting that this car has two fuse boxes actually so oh two and a half grand to spend it yes two and a half grand to weld the whole frame and expensive though two and a half grand for the welding job well in real life probably more expensive but yeah now we have a fully repaired body i think yeah frame is 100 percent interior is 25 percent because that is basically all gone <laughs> so uh, let's first of all let's move the engine over in the engine stand select there we go and this is the engine we have half an engine <laughs> this is the engine that we're gonna build because there are no other options for a upgraded engine but i'm gonna do my best to upgrade a lot of parts that i can upgrade so we definitely gonna push out the power with this beast right over here it's a v8 engine by the looks of it and that it has a particular name towards it but i have no idea but anyway let's strip the whole engine out and then i will buy the parts and then we're gonna build the new engine but i will let you know everything about it so enjoy the time lapse and the little information about it let's go the total weight of the engine is only 
197 kilograms with its 434 pounds due to its carbon fiber inlet manifold and aluminium construction. The transmission is specially developed a CIMA 7-speed dual clutch with pedal shifters. It is the fast first dual clutch transmission to feature only one input shaft. The second clutch slows down the input shaft during upshifts in order to reduce the time it takes to synchronize the next gear, resulting in faster shift times. Most notably, the transmission weighs only 81 kilograms or 179 pounds. And there we go, the engine has been fully stripped out. Every part has been gone. As you can see, you can basically see the outline. Uh, let's build this engine back up and first we're gonna repair a lot of parts. So uh, let's do that. And I will not gonna bother you with that. So I'll see you when I got all the parts for the engine. The next day. And we're back. So I bought all the parts for the car. Uh, most of them I probably have to buy parts still but I got most of the parts from the for the engine and also upgraded parts so we definitely gonna make some real power with this beast right over here I upgraded turbos I bought so let's build this engine and let's see how much power this beast is gonna make so uh, let's go towards the engine build here we go performance data 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 in, in, to 62 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds. 0 to 200 kilometers an hour or 0 to 124 miles an hour in 8 seconds. The top speed for the production model is claimed to be 400 kilometers an hour or 249 miles an hour. The Agera has a body made of impregnated carbon fiber slash Kevlar with lightweight reinforcements. The car's hard top roof is storable under the front hood lid. The chassis is also made out of carbon fiber with an aluminium honeycomb structure that comes with an integrated fuel tanks for optimal weight distribution and safety. The rear wing is electronically adjustable with auto setting or manual control in order to have as little compromise as possible between low drag and downforce, depending on the driving conditions of course. The Agera comes with forced aluminium wheels with center lock locking nuts measuring 19 inches on the front and 20 inches on the rear and wrapped in a set of Michelin Supersport tires that can be used for speeds for up to 420 km an hour or 260 miles an hour. Other notable features include the trademark the dehydrosonic hilux doors. I cannot pronounce that, but basically the outward facing doors. <laughs> That's basically it. A new traction control system, LED lightning, uh, blue hood stripes and that continue through the cockpit of the car and a custom interior with a new ghost light lighting system which uses carbon nanotubes in a unique configuration to shine through the car's aluminium buttons and there we go the fully built engine with upgraded parts upgraded turbos upgraded throttle upgraded fuel for everything is upgraded what i could upgrade Oh boy, this thing is going to make some power up for sure. <laughs> so uh, let's put it back in the car and uh, let's see how we can finish the car. Because we definitely want to see it. First of all, let's get the engine crane back because we do need to place the engine in the vehicle. And let's go. You can only do it with the engine crane. 100% a yes, please. Thank you very much. And move you back. And there it is. The gorgeous heart of the engine wow what a beast it is <laughs> okay well oh, i forgot to forgot to remove part you didn't see it okay well let's put this beauty back together shall we and uh, let's see what we can make out of it i am not sure if i want to sell this one or keep this one i'm not very sure yet but well, first of all let's build it and make it ready to go shall we so let's work on it and i will see you afterwards the agera r made a debut at the March 2011 Geneva Motor Show with a Speed Racer livery and special Michelin tires. 
It can accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in 2.8 seconds and attain a tri theoretical top speed of 439 km an hour. Due to the rear wing of the Agera R, it can produce 300 kilos of downforce with its adaptive rear wing at 250 km an hour. The adaptive rear wing system is lighter than a conventional hydraulic slash electrical adaptive system and has unique ability to compensate for head and wind tails due to its spring-loaded design. Furthermore, the pylons hold holding the wing play not only a role in the Agera's R aerodynamic performance, but also assist in extracting hot air from the engine bay. On the 2nd of September 2011, during a test session in Engelholm, the Agera R broke six world land speed records of a production car, including the 300 the kilometers an hour in 14.53 seconds to 300 to 0 kilometers an hour in 21.19 seconds. The braking performance requires to maintain is in part by the Agera stability. Demonstrated by Koenigsegg test driver and drivetrain technician Robert Servansky, who was recorded by passenger Rob Viteri, the founder of the Super Speeders, braking from 300 kilometers an hour to 0 without holding the steering wheel. That's really sick in my opinion. The Agera R can produce literally cornering forces of 1.6 Gs due to a combination of mechanical balance and high level of grip from the special developed Michelin Super Sports tires. In 2013 version of the Agera R premiered at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show upgrades that include carbon fiber wheels enhanced aerodynamics an engine upgrade allowing the agera r's twin turbo v8 engine to have a power output of 1124 horsepower at 7100 rpm and 1200 newton of torque at 4100 rpm on e85 biofuel cooling sex flex fuel sensor technology allows the ecu to respond to a variety of fuel qualities and alcohol contained by reducing power levels as a protecting the engine on standard low octane fuel power is reduced to 947 horsepower well that is basically the cooling sex agera r from 2011 to 2014 and there also are a lot of versions so the cooling agera s is 2014 13 to 2014 so let's see what it says the cooling sex presented the agera s model in 2013 built for markets lacking e85 biofuel the agera s has most of the upgrades of the agera r compared to the normal agera including the dynamic wing but it optimized for running on low octane petrol or gas generating a maximum power output of 1016 horsepower and 1100 newton meters of torque compared to the 947 horsepower and 1100 newton meters of torque of the agera r running on the same fuel in 2013 one agera s was the 100th koenigsegg ever produced celebrating by a specially built car with gold leaves inlaid named hundra swedish for 100 okay that's really special like it is yeah there is a picture of it but i don't know if i can show you due to its copyright claims so i'm really sorry if i cannot show you this on 10 the 10th of june on 2014 nasa n-a-z or z-a swedish motors launched a agera s in malaysia it was the second koenigsegg after the ccxr to arrive in the country thus setting a new market for koenigsegg it was Priced at 5 million RM, I don't know what the prices or that are in US dollars or euros before taxes, and it was estimated that it will be priced at 15 million RM. I'm sorry, cannot find the numbers in US dollars with government tax and duties, making it one of the most expensive cars in the country. The Agera S is the only model offered in Malaysia due to the absence of E85 biofuel there. Okay, that's very interesting in my opinion. And then we have the Koenigsegg 1-1 from 2014 to 2015. The Koenigsegg 1-1 was presented at the 2014 Geneva Motor Show held in March. There we go. Finally, after a long, long time, I finally put the car back together. As you can see right over here, I put some Pagani rims on it. I know it's not a Pagani, but come on. Gold rims, they look sick on this. 
with the carbon fiber roof and yeah we still have to paint it so let's do that right now but i, I just want to take a second i put some upgraded parts on the body and some upgraded parts for the lights so we got a sick sick aggressive look on this vehicle right over here so let's go over towards the paint shop shall we and there we go paint shop five minutes later so here we are what are we gonna paint this car hmm this is gonna be difficult oh this looks sexy <laughs> whoa that looks really really nice is there like a livery on it livery one what do we have okay so we do have black a stripe number two we have a gold stripe that looks way better okay what do we have more options and three is blue and none but i think we should get the gold with the purple that looks really really nice so let's hold it and there we go we painted the vehicle that is sick whoa look at this carbon fiber with the chrome purple and the gold rims move the car and now we have to do a wheel alignment and headlight alignment and yeah then we have to go towards the dyno so i will see you at the dyno then one season later okay here we are at the dyno so let's see how this beautiful cooling sack how much power is this going to make and standard horsepower is 910 and 1065 newton meters of torque and that is a lot so i put a lot of upgraded parts in the engine and also in the gearbox so let's see how much torque and horsepower this is gonna make i bet you it's over 1000 horsepower for sure <laughs> let's see oh god that looks really really high come on come on come on how much is this going to make? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> we doubled the horsepower almost at the 40 newton meters of torque. <laughs> oh my god. 1702 horsepower and 1969. Nice. <laughs> newton of torque. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is fast. <laughs> okay. Well, let's move it outside and let's see how it looks in the sun. Oh my God. This looks good. Fully built and repaired. Oh my God. Well, the big question is how much money did we make? Let's see car status yes it's 100 vehicle that's really nice it's a it's a drag race 999 not sure i haven't found out the drag racing in this game because i'm too how you say it too focused on building the cars and we have a almost 85 percent tuning upgrade all the parts are 100 that's nice no missing parts and we can't <laughs> we can sell this vehicle for almost 400 grand and we make a profit of six and three hundred is 64,000. <coughs> oh god, I'm going to joke. Oh god, that is a lot of money. Oh my god, I have a big smile on my face, but I'm, I have no idea if I should sell this one. So I'm just going to keep it for now. And yeah, you guys have to decide if we're going to sell it or just keep it. Leave it down in the comments down below, please, please, please. But I almost found it too beautiful to be sold, but come on man this is such a beast <laughs> i'm sorry just speechless i am just speechless so yeah um we have so oh that was a way too fast camera hello we have two projects coming up but yeah that will be in a later video first of all i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you all like this video please like subscribe if you haven't already that would be much appreciated and like i said let me know in the comments down below what we should do with this vehicle should we keep it or should we sell it for a big profit let me know anyway i hope you all have a lovely day as always and i will see you in the next one peace out everybody